Know what I noticed about y'all? Y'all just want to hear me talk that shit, yo. Y'all just want me to talk that shit. All right, so let's just talk that shit, all right? Full blast. Y'all ready? Let go. All right, all right, all right, all right. So check this out, B. This is the FIFA, right? This is FIFA right here. What you seeing is straight FIFA, and it's courtesy of the Frostbite engine. Now, you see all these cinematics, B? It's that fire. It's that fuego. It's that... Caliente. Hold up, Spaz. You know that's not how you say that shit, man. Go, go, go kick that shit for the people, man. Do that shit for the family. That fire. That fuego. That caliente. You know what I'm saying, So this is what you got to look forward to, you feel me? In, in live right here. The whole community. That people that live fam. Even you live fanboys that, that don't want to see nothing else but live. This is what you got to look forward to. Like this, you're like this. You know what I'm saying? This is what you get to look forward to moving forward. If they add the frostbite engine, this is what you're gonna look forward to in the game. You feel me? This is the stuff that people don't 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 display to y'all. You feel me? And if you if you want this type of gameplay, if you want this type of cinematics, if you want this type of story mode looking game, let the devs know. Let them know in the comment section. They be looking at my videos, you know what I'm saying? They know what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it could be a clear consensus. You feel me? I see what it is down low. You know what I mean? This is what you... This is what... This right here is what you want. You feel me? You dig? This is what you want right here. All of this looks cinematically good. You know what I'm saying? It got the little haze in it. Like the movie effect and everything. This is what you want. This is exactly what you want. This is what you need in this community right here, man. All these cinematics. These cutscenes are looking mighty realistic if you ask me in the long run. You know what I'm saying? This is what we have to look forward to if you're playing live, if you're in this type of field. If this is the game that you're going to be choosing. You know what I'm saying? Like, with, especially with Madden. I don't, I'm, I'm mad I didn't buy Madden. But like I said, like with Madden, in other words, it's like, it's just so many, I can't say so many issues, but I'm basically like all Maddened out at this point. Like, even though I haven't been posting Madden or anything, I do have that game. I had the physical copy because that's just the game right there that will get you so upset that you got to bring it back. I brought, I buy basketball digital copies only because I'm never bringing basketball games back. I love basketball. I'm like a basketball um, fan to the fullest. You feel me? And I'm sure, I'm sure y'all are. I'm probably sure that's why y'all rock with me because y'all like basketball. You feel me? I, I know that's why y'all like basketball. When you see all of this, these are great cinematic scenes. These are great cinematic scenes. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is what, remember at the end of the last video I just put up? All right, now you see how the gameplay is? All right, I'm going to change the camera, vi camera view for y'all before I get into this, all right? Now, I just want to address something real quick. I did this for a reason, and I'm doing this for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Undefeated in this. So, look, now you see these graphics. These are some fire graphics. You see, you see the ball tangibility is looking real good. Y'all know what ball tangibility is, right? Is like when the ball's tangible, basically capable of being perceived, especially by the sense of touch. So it transfer it translates in video game form, whereas if your man hits the ball, swipe at the ball, kick the ball, like you see right here in FIFA, if it touches, makes contact, physical contact, it's perceived like making physical contact. It ain't none of that glitching and morphing. The thing that I must address in all of this be is that you got this one dude named Brainless and this one dude named Chuck. And they talking about there is physics in the frostbite engine, Spaz. You don't know what you're talking about. You never watched the video. Boy, you on some type of dope or something? Who the, like, what you mean I haven't watched the video? This is what I do. Bada bing, bada boom. This is what I do. I watch videos. This is where I get a collective of information from. What you trying to say is destructive environments, right? Because that's what the physics of the frostbite engine is referring to. What is destructive environments in a basketball game, my guy? Are we going to blow up the stadium? Huh? Are we going to blow up the Staples Center? Huh? Are we going to blow up the Boston Garden? Are we going to blow up Madison Square Garden? Tell me what you're talking about. Huh? Because you don't know what you're talking about. You, your, your mind is so focused on, oh, Spaz is too cocky. I'm going to have to prove him wrong. I told you. Anybody that knows a New Yorker, this is just how we are. Like It's an aggressive talk. It's a tone. I cannot help the way I talk. I can't help the confidence 
in which I speak with. I speaketh from the heart, though. This is what you don't understand. You too busy trying to make me look stupid. You know what you need to do? Make your own YouTube channel. And let's see how far you get. You need to make your own YouTube channel and do your own stuff. Instead of coming to my channel and try to criticize all the time. Back to the video. Sorry, I got caught up in a moment. But like I said, man, like, like I said, man, you still see some type of like body through hands or some c -c -c come here Mortal Kombat stuff at times. Like I played this game and like, boom, boom, boom. oh, hey, 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 hey. Now that look fire, fuego, caliente. You know what I'm saying? See, this is all cinematic scenes. This is cinematic. You see how this game looks? Now let's just imagine. You see how live looks when live's at this camera angle? Not this camera angle. This camera angle is like the in-game camera angle. You see what I'm saying? But we need that other camera angle to zoom in everything. You feel me? And what you can do in FIFA, you can zoom it in. You can make the game look spectacular. You know what I'm saying? But my whole thing with the physics, you feel me? It's like with the Frostbite engine. I don't think it's, it's in correlation with ball tangibility. I mean, it'll help the animations. I read that and I'm going to give you all that. That's where I was wrong at. It can help animation. So I'm manning up and admitting that I'm wrong, right? All right. Can y'all give me that? Can, can y'all give me that? What I'm trying to tell y'all is, man, y'all know with these sports games, unless we might be able to shatter a backboard or something like that, because that, that happens in the NBA, right? Sometimes, like, um, backboards, there's a history where Shaq was at one point, but he's retired, and that's been a long time ago. And we haven't seen that in a while. We've seen it in college rooms, but... Back to what I'm saying, it's just, like, see all this cinematics? But back to what I was saying, it's like, in a real basketball game, we're going to be worried about physics, and physics is like, has a lot to do with the ball tangibility, and that is real. Is the ball tangible? Y'all go look up the definition of ball tangibility, and that's what I'm stressing when I keep stressing the force by engine. Majority of the things, like it has, like he said, destructive environments that's good for rpg game where you're shooting up bang bang and you you're blowing up stuff and buildings and stuff like that but where would that be in correlation with a sports video game you see what i'm saying if you're not breaking the backboard that's the only thing you could basically say like you could have individual properties which it does have and i read that too i've been read that but i'm saying when it comes to ball tangibility, that's the most thing that we that we are stressing in this basketball game. You know what I'm saying? Like the bounce tech thing. The bounce tech thing was the most man. That man. If y'all don't know about bounce tech, bro, bounce tech. It, it it in live when when they did bounce tech. When you dribbled that ball, you felt it. You see what I'm saying? You felt it. If they could bring Bounce Tech back with the graphics that they have now, <laughs> Dave Chappelle voice, man. You see what I'm saying? It would be crazy. It would be crazy. That's crazy. No doubt. No doubt. Because EA has the money to do this, right? The only thing is, they don't want to invest the money and this and this is why the frostbite engine in my personal opinion i believe the frostbite engine wasn't put into the game because of that now as a selling tool a marketing tool moving forward to nba live 19 if you put frostbite in the game that the word frostbite is something that's going to grab the attention of more people you know what I'm saying? And this is exactly why I'm showing FIFA. You know what I'm saying? This is why I'm showing FIFA. Because this has the Frostbite engine. And if I had Madden, because it's a sports game, I would show it too. But I'm, I'm, I want to show you Battlefield. Because Battlefield is a whole different beast. Now look. You see how the, you see how this, this game is moving. How it's operating. You see the zoom ins. You can zoom in and everything. And you can see the animations, which is true, is better than FIFA 16, FIFA 17. I think the last one I played was 16, to be honest with you. I didn't. I don't even think I played FIFA 17. FIFA 18, this is me right here playing it. But what I'm trying to say is, all it is is ball tangibility. That's all people want. 
at the end of the day when we're talking about physics. That's what we're talking about. We don't want that hand going through your chest when it grabs a rebound, stuff like that. And another thing, I want y'all to, for certain people, man, that come to this channel, I want y'all to actually get out your feelings and understand when I'm saying that 2K is better right now, when I'm saying that, I'm not bashing live. Y'all have to understand that. When I'm saying it's better right now, I'm saying as far as you got way more game modes, the smoothness is more together than it is the NBA Live. When I'm saying that the fun factor, no, the fun factor is in live. It's in live. You know what I'm saying? If you want to have a fun factor in 2K, you're going to have to go play Pro-Am. Hands down, that's it. That's the best mode. That's the mode that's more together. It's like they built the game around Pro-Am because of, you know, the events that's coming up. So if you play 2K, that's going to be where your, your best experience will be at. If you're playing live, hands down, the one, the fun factor is there. So don't think I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, excuse me, don't think I'm bashing, um, live because I'm not. Y'all see I rock with the live community. I see I rock with the game. You heard? I rocks with the game. I got people, like, it's, it's crazy. Y'all don't understand the amount of stuff I go through because I'm putting live up. But I have to, I have to keep it a hundred with my, with my audience, right? I have to keep it a hundred like that. You know what I'm saying? So 2K's, like I said, I'll say it again. To me, 2K is just way too damn technical. Live is a superior fun factor. Superior cinematic features like such as this. This will happen. When they put a story mode, this will happen. You have to give live some time though before y'all jump out the window and say, oh, this is the best game. You know what I'm saying? Because what that does is it's like it's gonna mislead the community and might and might hurt it because like if I'm if I'm all right, if I'm trying to get consumers right at the end of the day before we get out if i'm trying to get consumers and i have a product and it's being compared to another product well 2k does this right and i say well live does that too and then it don't be true then what and i go out get live as a consumer what that's going to do for your product it'll hurt your product because you gassed it not being honest it's like a slam sale like you ever have somebody call your house and sell you a phone service or sell you a phone thing and say one thing and then you be like all right sign me up and then when you get the paperwork coming the mail whatever it's something different same thing it's like a slam sale ls57 gotta feed the streets yo i rocks with y'all y'all rock with me spit a clip i hope y'all understood exactly what i'm talking about in this video right here man but this is what you gotta look forward to looking moving forward I'll see y'all next video, man. Peace. I went off in a 16. Give me 17. Want a lot. Can't have everything. Can't have everything.